What's going on, Giants fans? Happy Thursday. Real quick, just want to come on and give you guys a quick update regarding Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley and the status of their contracts with the New York Football Giants. Earlier today, Ian Rappaport on NFL Network came on and he said he has heard from the New York Giants that if a deal in the next five days or so before the March 7th deadline of the transition tag period, if a deal does get in place and the Giants and Daniel Jones can strike a deal, a long-term deal that is, the Giants will then look forward to Saquon Barkley and will likely slap the franchise tag on him, which goes for running backs at $10.1 million this year. And that is only, only if Daniel Jones can come to an agreement on a deal with the New York Football Giants. If, in the instance, Daniel Jones does not have a deal done in New York, in New York the Giants will then slap the franchise tag on him, likely making Saquon Barkley an unrestricted free agent, and he will hit the open market. That is not ideal for both sides. Joe Shane has expressed very, very much that he wants both guys back, but he has drawn a line in the sand on where he will pay these guys. Daniel Jones being a quarterback, he is a higher priority. He is likely the franchise quarterback. Joe Shane and Brian Dable strongly believe in him, and they have faith that he is the guy moving forward, which makes sense. You don't pay running backs. Like I said before, you don't pay running backs. The last 10 Super Bowl winners, their running backs did not make any more than $4 million at annually. Um, but I would love Saquon Barkley back, but I am not going to overpay for him. And it looks like Joe Shane is keeping a firm grip on that. He has stated that he will not go any higher than $12.5 million, the contract they originally offered Saquon earlier in the season. So if Daniel Jones does get a deal done, Saquon Barkley will be tagged. If someone wants to trade for uh, Saquon Barkley, give us two first-round picks. Otherwise, Saquon Barkley will be tagged. Daniel Jones will have a long-term deal. Again, if Daniel Jones does not get a deal done with the Giants, he will then be tagged, and Saquon Barkley will walk. Now, necessarily speaking, a franchise tag does not mean Saquon has one more year left with the Giants in Big Blue, and later he'll be a free agent. It just means the Giants will have more time and more control of Saquon Barkley, and maybe later on in the year they can get a long-term deal done. However, right now, with the days crunched and the numbers are just not getting close as all between both parties, it looks like Jones will be likely long-term deal and Saquon tagged. That's all I got for you guys today. Any different news, I will be sure to update you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday night. And as always, let's go G-Men.